Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the next part of The Sims 4 Ant Life. So, uh, we have Coral who has actually woken up very early this morning. Um, and what is she reading? She's going to read the first unicorn. Alright, that's an interesting choice. Um, so yeah, she, she is up and ready to go for the day, basically before anyone else is. Um, I am going to have her take a quick trip to the bathroom just so that way then once the girls are awake we won't have to worry about fighting over the bathroom space and she is ready to go to help uh, Kelly get out the door and ready for school. Um, so Olive is still asleep but her bladder is like yeah. Um, so let's see let's where, where are we at on her skills because um, we did get a notification overnight that it's almost Olive's birthday. So I believe she had now has one day left. So this is this is probably going to be her last part as a toddler. Oh, and she has a car in her inventory. Where did Alright, well we'll just we'll just drag it. No oh, okay. Well, I guess we're not dragging the car out of her inventory. <laughs> maybe she just wants to keep it, or maybe it's just a glitch, who knows? Um, okay, so the lowest skill right now is thinking. She's only at a level three, but she's almost done with that. And then imagination, she's a level four, but she's at 57%. So that, you know, we're in pretty good shape for that for sure. Um, ideally, if we could get all of her skills maxed out, that would be amazing. Um, how is Kelly? I'm not super concerned about her skills necessarily. Although, when did her social skill get so high? That's surprising because I've always thought of her as maybe a little bit more naturally introverted and reserved but evidently that's not the case all right um so she should be waking up here any second because she is basically full energy bars and they're both in good shape she doesn't need to go to the bathroom or anything before school or take a shower but oh Olive's awake so let's see can we make it to the potty <laughs> it's time to test out that movement skill kid <laughs> Yes, I know. I told you to go to the bathroom. Go, go, go. Uh, Kelly, let's just have you go ahead and get dressed for the day since you are clean and showered and you don't have to go to the bathroom or anything. Um, oh, good. All right. So Coral has decided to make it upstairs. And did we make it? I think so. I think we're good. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Uh... So we have some time before school. Did she finish her homework yesterday? I don't remember. Oh, she did not do her homework. Oh no. <laughs> All right, well, luckily you still have an hour before school and you're doing really, really well. So you have that breeze through homework option, but whoops, <laughs> you know, but it's okay. I mean, like she, she can have some fun every once in a while because really, She's, you know, she's doing great in school. Uh, okay, so let's check out the fridge. What do we have going on here? We have an old dish. That could just be taken care of. Uh, we have two servings of Franks and beans left. Um, trying to see if there, we have a need for any of these, like, fruits and vegetables that are in her inventory. I don't think so. I'm just going to sell all of them. Because why not? We don't need them... I mean, like, maybe we could have used a few. Are these bananas or plantains? I can never remember. Those are plantains. All right. So, but, you know, we have two of them. I don't know that that's something that we necessarily always need a lot of. And, you know, money isn't actually a huge issue for us right now. But still, I would rather sell the vegetables and get a little bit of money for it. Actually, um, on a previous part, I got a comment from Junebug RX who suggested that we plant blackberries and I believe the other one was dragon fruit and she said that oh good Kelly is done with her homework um she said that you can get them at the spice festival so the next time that comes around we can go over there harvest some and then just plant them in our backyard and because those two fruits I believe they're both fruits yes um they make us a lot of money so excellent all right so go to school please kelly i was sort of hoping after your homework you would have a chance to um you know have some fun but yeah you're in a pretty good mood anyway and 
Little Olive, how are we doing? Uh -huh. She's having a lot of fun with these flashcards. That's impressive, because a lot of times she doesn't really enjoy them so much. Also, which flashcards are we doing? Does it show needs flashcards? I wonder which one that is. I guess it would tell us on Olive's skills. Okay, so yeah, so she is working on thinking. Excellent. Alrighty, so Kelly... I wonder, how are we doing with our friends? See, okay, this is a little confusing to me. So when your Sims are at school, or work, if it's like a rabbit hole type of career, they have these choices. Leave school early, which, no. Uh, study hard, which I use sometimes. Slack off, which I use sometimes. Normal, which I use sometimes. And then they have make friends. The issue that I have with making friends is that typically the game will just generate new, for example, in our case, children. For your sim to get to know. Like they'll meet them, but they won't actually make friends with them. So I feel like make friends should actually be meet new friends. And make friends should be like developing relationships with your existing sim friends. So I'm just going to leave it on normal, I guess. Because it would be nice if she could become friends with like Elsa and Alexander in particular. Because bo both of them have been good. They've... I, th I don't know that we're going to invite Carolyn over again because she destroyed stuff last time and Billy destroyed stuff previously. Like, I don't know. If you can't be bothered to respect your friend's toys, are they really your friend? I don't think so. Um, all right. So let's pick out an outfit. Have we used her party outfit? No, I don't think so. But oh, it's so cute. Oh, I am going to miss having her as a toddler. Like... That just, it does make me a little sad, but at the same time, like, I'm excited to see what she's like as a kid, and I'm excited to see her relationship with her sister grow. Um, okay, so, where are skills? There we go. Uh, thinking skills. So what can we do by ourselves? We don't have a tablet, I believe, but we can play with the blocks. Yes, we'll study shapes. And that will help. Also, is that? <laughs> it's a police car, but I, I, they've pulled somebody over who maybe, maybe they robbed a bank and that's what the uh, money bag is. That's a cute picture, actually. Uh, let's find a good spot for it on the wall. Uh, yeah, that'll work. That'll work for now. I really like decorating kids' bedrooms with the, like, drawings and artwork that they make. This is like romantic breakfast for one. <laughs> and then she just farted. Awesome. Okay, principal's visit. Today the principal is visiting Kelly's class. Ugh, I feel like we keep getting these like same repeat things popping up. Anyways, uh, the kid sitting behind her has chosen to pelt her with something. Uh, let's just ignore it. Yeah, that's. I feel like on that one, ignoring it, sometimes it's pretty random what the right result is. But I feel like on that one in particular, ignoring it is usually the best Grace. Okay. All right. She was just congratulating us on becoming friends with Elsa. All right. I was going to say, like, if you invite me out to the bar during the school day while she's a child, like, come on. That is just kind of super annoying, I think. Um, okay. So even though we're okay on money, I do want to have our friends in the art club come over and they can maybe... What is Yulrik wearing? So obviously she's been to a costume party. There we go. Okay, now she's changed. Um, but yeah, I I would like them to come over and just, you know, paint a little bit. Maybe she can socialize with some of her friends a little bit. Um, I know it seems a little silly, like right now we're not even meeting at the art center, but I want to be able to get some, a little bit of money. Not a ton of money. I'm not super concerned about it, but just a little bit of extra money here and there. Um, and... I figure once Olive ages up to being a child and she's gone all day long, then I feel like we're going to have to find new ways for Coral to occupy her time. So then we probably will end up meeting back at the art club itself, or not the art club, the art center itself more often. And, you know, maybe we can, I don't know. It's nice having both kids in school because then it gives us a little bit more freedom to do things. <laughs> so let's see. So Ulrike has definitely changed back into her normal her normal gear. At least normal for the club, which you know 
isn't exactly normal. It's a little, it's a little bit of a stretch. So is everybody painting? Oh well, we've got one who's not. Which I wonder where she's. Oh right, we have this mess on the floor. Hmm. Well, I think maybe once Grace comes home from school, we'll have her uh, work on cleaning that a little bit. Um, oh, she's hungry. Hmm. Oh, she's taking out the trash for us. That's nice. Yeah, because that, that toddler potty was kind of stinky. I, I saw it a few times where before Kelly left for school, she wanted to clean it, and then Coral wanted to clean it. And, you know, obviously Olive had no interest in that at all. Um, so let's open up the fridge, and we will pull out the last portion of our Franks and Beans, and let's have her grab a serving, um, and then... I mean, oh, Coral's not hungry at all. I do wonder if maybe she should, after she's done with this painting, if maybe she should take a break and cook up some food. That way then, if her friends get hungry, then they can get something to eat. And maybe they won't want to leave so quickly. Um, let's sell it to a collector on that one. And we can sell to a collector on this one. Wait, were you leaving? Don't leave. Okay, let's resume that painting. So now that's freed up a couple of more easels, so hopefully more people will go over it and start using them. Oh boy. This is the part of the toddler stuff that I will not miss. <laughs> the uh, let's take over an hour to make it downstairs part. Wait, where'd you go? Come back. Oh, I was trying to get a good picture of you, but yeah, you... I love how they, they look when they go running with their arms sticking out. It's so cute. Are you going to eat it? Or are you just going to stand there? Hello. I keep having this issue in, like, not just this, this particular save file, but all of my save files where I'll just get a sim and they just get stuck. Like, they're just frozen in time. But I don't want to do anything because also, this has happened to me before with toddlers where if they're eating, like, regular people food and they're not sitting in a high chair, if you cancel out... Like, if I were to cancel this out, the food would just disappear. Like, we couldn't get it back. It doesn't go into her inventory. It doesn't go back on a table. It just vanishes. So I don't really want to do anything. But, like, she's just standing here. Maybe if I tell her to do it again and then cancel out this first one. Oh. Nope. She is just... She is stuck. Okay. Okay. I don't want to have to do this, but I have to reset you. Like, this has not been an issue for me in The Sims 4. Like, yep, food's gone. Almost guarantee. Yep, just disappeared. Oh, oh, good. It fell on the floor next to her. Okay, good. Now, please eat the Franks and Beans. Thank you. I swear, if you get frozen again, maybe if I tell you to go sit. <clears throat> Why do I feel like a lot of people are frozen? Like, I feel like she's frozen. What is happening? Hmm. Like, this makes me suspicious. Because I have added in a few new mods into my game. Like, nothing, like, hugely, like, game impact. Well, it's game impacting from my end. It's not game impacting from your end. But, like, I added in the UI Cheats extension, and since then, that's when this keeps happening. Which makes me wonder if I need to, like, delete it and re-download it, because that's not great. Like, everyone's frozen. Maybe if I go into Build Buy. Okay, let's see. Did that work? Well, she just got two new whims that popped up. I don't know. I just, I feel like there's something going on here. Something sinister. All right, well, the good part of the UI Cheats mod is that I can just do whoop. Look, you ate your Franks and Beans. It's magic. Because it's been two hours that she's just been standing there. Oh, I forgot the reset sim part. I did also download um, 
the cheat shortcut mod. I forget the exact name of it, but it hasn't been updated in a while. It's just, it's not supposed to need to be updated, but I also, I don't know. I'll have to play around a little bit and see what's causing the problem because uh, that's not great. Like, is it just me or are these people, like, they're all just sort of standing in front of paintings without actually painting. This is kind of creepy. Like, maybe is it an issue with a club gathering? Like, I'm watching you and you're not actually putting your brush on the canvas. Neither are you. And neither is Coral. What is happening? Okay, well, obviously, we're just gonna send everyone home. Maybe it's a problem with a club gathering. Because as soon as they sent everyone home, it's like, it's gotten a lot better. Weird, okay. <clears throat> oh no, poor Waffle. <laughs> Waffle is not in a good mood. Uh, let's see. Kelly is now home from school, so that's good. She wants to finish her homework. Okay. Well, that's an easy one. Um, let's have you sit over here, and you can breeze through your homework. Oh, she's tired. Yeah, being stuck like that for two hours could uh, really take it out of a little kid. Um, yeah, that's just weird. There has to be something going on, because as soon as I said send everyone home from the club, things went back to normal. Or mostly normal. Uh, do I need to reset you too? <laughs> like, okay. Uh, Coral Baker? Let's just tell her to go somewhere. Yeah, that's weird. That is very, very weird. All right, and actually, instead of having her sell her painting, I'm just going to do it in a build by because that just seems suspicious. Also, I'm going to go ahead and put away these easels because I don't think we're going to have the club at our house again for a while, especially not if it's causing glitches to happen which I really don't want that. And then let's go ahead and bring back out some of the stuff that we had put away. Um, oh. Huh, I forgot about that. All right, well, let's, <laughs> that's right. We had to put it away so we could pull out the uh, table and chairs for the games. Um, well, let's just put it here and we'll keep the adult game table in our inventory for right now. Oh, she went ahead and changed into her pajamas. Oh, that's adorable. She's just sitting there watching her sister while she takes a nap and working on homework. All the good stuff. All right. So yeah, I am I am very very excited to see what she turns into, like, not what she turns into, but, you know, like, I'm excited to see her grow up and see what kind of a person she's going to be becoming. Because as though, um, I mean, toddlers definitely have way more personality in The Sims 4 than I think they've ever had before in any of the other Sims games. But it's still not necessarily who they are as they get older, because they have a whole new set of traits that they'll get. And yeah, it's just different. Um, well, okay, Waffle is actually taking a nap, but I am going to have you wake her up and then maybe show her a little affection because I sort of think that in that whole time that everybody was stuck, I think Waffle was stuck too because I didn't see her roaming around. So let's let's check up on her, make sure that she's, you know, she's doing okay. Let's see what's wrong. Let's praise. What else? We can pet. Let's tell her a story. Um, okay, well, let's get to know. You have a full bowl over here. Let's just call Waffle to eat then. Alright. If you can't figure out how to feed yourself, cat, I'm a little concerned. 
Daphne. <laughs> Aww. Okay, so... Oh, she's hungry. Oh, that's right. Coral needs to cook some food. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What are we going to do you, for dinner? Um... Let's just make some macaroni and cheese. That's a good, like, kid, kid-friendly meal. Oh, she is angry and she has to go potty again. All right. Um, I'm gonna have Kelly, even though she's hungry. While Coral is working on dinner, I'm gonna have her get started on her school project. And again, she doesn't really need to do it because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she has an A. She's, you know, she is solid. But I don't know. I like doing the school projects. I think it's a fun thing. Okay. Yeah, well, let's let's not destroy things. And actually, after you go potty, I am going to have you change back into the clothes you were wearing earlier. Like, you did not need to put on pajamas just to take a nap. Seems like a little bit of overkill. All right, so Waffle has now eaten, so she is happy. Um, what are you doing? Oh, you're just going to watch her? Well, what is she doing right now? No, don't go to sleep yet. Okay, it is only six o'clock at night. You have to work on being able to stay up a little bit longer than this. But you know what? I'm going to have... Uh... Oh, she wants to go to a park. Magnolia Blossom Park. All right, change of plans. We're going to go to the park. <laughs> We're going to go see Grace at the park. Wait. Why can't... Why can't we take olive with us it's a park all right well we'll just take kelly and maybe once we're there we can have olive meet us that's just weird though like how does a toddler transport themselves <clears throat> olive has been sent to daycare okay well let's see yeah let's bring olive baker here there we go all righty so let's have her come over and talk to her mom. Tell her about your favorite animal. And I don't know, have the girls seen their mom at all? I don't know that they have. Yarba! Oh, that's so cute. Let's tell her about school and... Let's ask about being dead. Like, I feel like as a kid, that would be, like, really kind of confusing. Aww. She likes bears, apparently. That's very cute. Uh, let's see. Pick up. Why can we pick up a ghost? I feel like that, that can't be correct. Um, all right, let's... Make a silly face. Uh, what else? Let's ask her about her day. Also, what's Coral up to? She's cloud gazing. Well, okay. Um, yeah, let's... Parenting. Discipline recent behavior. Tell not to make a mess. Because she does need... I think... Yeah, she needs to discipline her toddler or child one more time. Um, whoa, 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 where are you going? Let's tell your mom a goofy story. No, no, where, where do you... What's happening? I feel like I'm losing control. Um, I like how she was like, uh-oh, <laughs> Aunt Coral is coming. Time to run. <laughs> uh, also, why does it still show up that she's at daycare? Um... Oh, okay. So now that you're about to get into trouble, you start crying. Oh, Olive. You're adorable, but you are definitely a handful. So did that actually work? It must have. Uh, also, now she magically has a bottle. Why are you tense? Oh, because Olive was crying. Let's share a secret. Um, and then actually, let's have you clean up your sister's mess. Because she can't do it, because she's so little. Um, how much longer do we have of this? Is it not? Two hours and 14 minutes. Okay. 
So, yeah. I mean, like, it would be nice if she could spend some time with her sister, but I really think the most important thing right now is that Kelly and Olive get to see their mom. Because I don't... They might have seen her one other time, maybe? But even that, I'm really not sure of. I like how she's just walking past, like, was, was that a ghost? Did I really just see a ghost just standing there? All right. Um, Kelly, let's have you hug... Olive lovingly. Uh, where is Grace going? Are you going to destroy things? Are you... Oh, you're just washing your hands. Yeah, that, that seems very, very Grace. Also, I don't know that anybody's picked up on this, but did you notice that Kelly's mom's name is Grace? Grace Kelly? Anyone? Yeah. That's not an accident. I did that on purpose. Um... So you're just chilling and playing uh -huh. chess, okay? Olive is just okay. Could um okay, unwelcome present. I got a present that I think is dumb. I want to trade it with a friend or give it back. Can I do that? Yeah, no. Growing up, if we ever had things that we didn't want, like we always had to accept it graciously, but most of the time we usually also had to keep it. Because, you know, that's the polite thing to do. So let's... Manners is increasing. Very good. All right. Uh, why are you hugging Jeffrey Landgrab? You don't know him. Oh, my gosh. And now you're... All right. <laughs> Time to uh, go lecture her again this time let's be a little bit more forceful about this because clearly the first time it did not stick um let's have you come and throw away her cup because she just set it down and i don't know i i don't know that we'll be able to throw it away if we just leave it there or like i don't think the game will automatically throw it away all right well let's clearly i think we've overstayed our welcome here i don't even know where did Grace go? Did she just disappear? I don't see her anywhere. Hmm. Oh, she's playing chess. Or checkers. What is this? Chess. Yeah. I think I called it checkers a minute ago, but no, it's it's definitely not. Alright, let's... Uh, is there an option to just say goodbye? <laughs> like, I don't want to just, like, bail on her, and I don't want to be mean about it, but yeah, you know what? Let's just end the event a little early and let's go back home. Well, thank you for cleaning up the mess, Jeffrey. That was very nice of you. All right. Well, that was a fun little detour. I'm not really sure why Anaya is at our house, though. Our, the club meeting ended ages ago. <gasps> Waffle! What a naughty kitty! I mean, to be fair, we did leave a container of macaroni and cheese sitting out on the counter. But come on. All right. Lecture about eating human food. Let's lecture about both eating human food and jumping on counters. Because that is just like super, super not cool. Um, but let's have Olive grab a serving. Kelly is just going to eat that leftover Franks and beans, which hopefully it doesn't cause her to glitch out too. Fingers crossed. We'll see. So far, so good. But yeah, let's... Oh, my goodness. Oh, Waffle has learned to not eat people food. Excellent. Good work. So apparently, we can only lecture about one thing at a time, which, no, yeah, that's fair. Okay, let's grab a serving. So everybody is eating something now. Where did Olive go? Okay, so she's got some actual food this time, which is always good. And let's see. All right, so we're back home. We're eating food. Life is good. And yeah. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Um, once they're done eating, I'm just going to have everyone go to sleep for the night. And I really wish we could have worked a little bit more on some of Olive's skills. I really would like 
to get these all maxed out, but we still have all day tomorrow to do it. And tomorrow I'm definitely not having the um, painting club come over at all. We're just not even going to bother with that, at least not for right now. Um, but yeah, but then Olive ages up tomorrow. So I think once Kelly comes home from school, we will throw Olive a birthday party and she will age up to be a kid. Like that is just, I am so excited. Um, but yeah, so let me know if you guys have any thoughts or comments on this part. Um, and thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you can do so down below. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, so I will see you all in my next video. Bye.